We're here in Las Vegas for the Mr. Olympia. Uh, I gotta get a little work out in before the expo today. I gotta say, being here again, you know, over the years, uh, gets me really motivated. Uh, I know most of you guys know that I've, I've done the Olympia once, once before, and uh, just seeing, the, seeing the show last night got me motivated to uh, get back up there again and uh, get back on stage and qualify for the Olympia again. And uh, I get a lot of people come up to me and they want me to, they want to see me on stage again. So it's time to get back to work. So let's do a little workout. I never really plan what I'm gonna do when I go into the gym. I mean, I guess I have an idea, um, but I go by instinct, I think, and I've just been doing this for so long, it's over 20 years I've been training now. And, um, you know, I just, whatever I go in the gym and I see certain machines or any exercises and I just, you know, play it by ear. Uh, but we had, I had a pretty good workout and um, even doing like certain things, like I incorporate drop sets and uh, some days I'll do, you know, one single arm curls, and then also I switch it back up to two arm curls. And there's no real reason for that. It's just that uh, I get in a mood where I want to get like you know a crazy pump or a crazy burn, and I just uh, just try new things out. Or you know, in the past I've done it, and I like the way it felt. So I go by my instinct, and uh, I've learned over the years through you know I've trained with a lot of people, and I've trained with a few trainers and all kind of stuff. And I can't say that I've uh, I have a certain one style. I just think I have. Uh, taken a little bit from everybody I've learned over the years and made it my own so now it's my own style I guess you could say and I think that everybody could do that like someone could train with me it doesn't mean you gotta train exactly like me but you could take something you know you can learn from me and and make it your own and make your own style so today's workout was just by you know like I like every time I go into gym it's by instinct I don't really know you know uh, exactly what I'm gonna do um, just whatever feels good and whatever is gonna give me the best pump and stuff like that but it was a good workout, and uh, I usually don't work out at this time of day, but I actually was surprised that it was a really good workout. Like, such a so early in the morning, it was like 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. It's early for me to train, but it was really good. It's a funny thing that we, I think working it is a funny thing anyway. You think you gotta be a little crazy to like work out to a certain degree where it causes you pain. You're really causing yourself pain to give you pleasure later. And I think that's like really, if you told someone didn't understand about working out, they'd probably think you were crazy. Um, I don't know, I, I, I think I, I like the pain thing. It's like, um, maybe it's like a high for me. Like I see how much pain I can actually go through and how much I can take. Because I think the more pain I go through, the better my body's going to look, you know, the bigger I'm going to get or the better shape I'm going to get. I always have this thing I like to um, kind of kind of torture myself a little bit, even when it comes to dieting and do, even doing cardio. People don't realize, like, I don't do a lot of cardio, but when I do, I like to do it, you know, pretty hard cardio. I don't like to, you know, walk down memory lane or, you know, a little stroll. I'd rather do a short amount of cardio and like sweat my ass off and like like really be out of, out of breath and really work hard so and the same thing with training the same way i don't i don't like to train for three hours like some people do maybe i like give me an hour 
and I'd rather go in and hard and hard as and fast as I can because I don't take a lot of breaks either, unless it was like a big exercise like squats or you know something something really big. Um, and I think it takes it takes just as much to lift, you know, a fa- do a fast workout as, as much as it takes to like um, lift heavy and take more breaks. It's just something that I like. I don't always lift super heavy. I like to like, sometimes I'll take like 30 seconds rest. I don't know if you'll see when I when I train. Sometimes I take maybe less than a minute rest and go again and see how much I can how much pain I can actually take. And um, I feel like I have a pretty good uh, pain threshold. I've been through some stuff and. Uh, when I train, it's to cause as much pain as possible. So you know, uh, I think you know, like Arnold said, uh, when the pain and that burn starts, it, that's when the muscle starts to really grow. So that kind of, you know, I, I visualize stuff in my head that motivate me like that, and I just think I think that when I'm in pain, it's just going, it's a good thing. Uh, you know, a lot of things inspire me. Um, I could see a great bodybuilder, a great physique, even watching the pre-judging last night. It's definitely inspiring to see some of the best guys in the world and, you know, wanting to be up on, on that stage. Everybody wants that, really, you know, who's really a bodybuilder at heart. I'm still a bodybuilding fan, you know what I mean? So um, I like to still watch bodybuilding. And it obviously fires me up to train and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Also, you know, seeing people that are less fortunate than me. I know certain people, I don't know them, but, I, you know, I follow certain people on, online uh, that have struggles, you know. I see, I see people with, you know, who are bo- born with, you know, no legs and no arms or one arm and or people who have lost limbs and, they, and, they, and uh, you know, people burn the fires and people who are, had surgery and got paralyzed and waist down and all these things and they're working so hard and they never quit and I'm like, you know, I still got two hands, two legs, and everything works pretty, you know, pretty close to good. You know, I, I can I can live normally, and I can still train, and I have my own little problems too. But it's not enough to to complain about. When I have a bad day, which I do have a lot of bad days, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I start thinking about that stuff, and I'm thinking how lucky I am to still, you know, be alive and be healthy, and you know two feet in a heartbeat, <laughs> but um, uh, those people, even, you know, even seeing someone, I honestly think this one was too, is like, when I see a really overweight person in the gym working hard, I'm like, it's hard for me to go back to the gym when I've had time off for whatever reason, being sick or hurt, and I've lost a lot of weight, and I feel self-conscious. Imagine someone that's like, you know, really obese or whatever, going into the gym, and you know what, people do stare and say stuff, and it, um, it, they must have, a, they must really want it, and they must have a lot of, you know, a lot of guts to go in there no matter what and do it. It's, just, it's inspiring to me. Like, I, good for them, you know what I mean? They don't care or they're going to do it no matter what. So uh, I, I don't have any reason, you know what I mean?
I listened to some Eminem first. Uh, some Eminem music got me going first, and then I felt like getting uh, cranking it up a little bit. And I had listened to some uh, Five Finger Death Punch, which is one of my favorite bands. And uh, it gets me. I think it gets me through. through I mean, music can can change your attitude so fast. Like I could go into the gym and not be in the mood to train. And as soon as I turn that music on, I'm just like, okay, it's go time. It's time to do this, and uh, it gets me through a lot of workouts for sure. And actually, I really like this gym. I don't know why. Just there's certain equipment in this gym that every time I use it, I get a crazy pump. And I could use another machine that's similar into another gym, and it's just not the same. It's so weird. I mean, every time I come to this gym. I always have a good workout. It, it, I don't know why. It's just how I always do. Um, so now we're going to get some quick to, something quick to eat. Uh, head back to the expo. So anybody at the expo, come by and check us out.